It's Scott Bywood here with another uh, morning pyjama memo. And uh, one thing I just wanted to touch on today was the whole issue of writer's block because many people say, oh, I don't know what to write, I don't know how to write or whatever. And I want to encourage you to really approach it from a different way in that, you know, people say I've got writer's block, but I've never, ever heard anyone say I've got talker's block. And what I mean by that is that, you know, that we're, you, you can always talk. We always know what to say. We never go, oh, I, I don't know what to say, you know, unless we're you know, in front of some big group or something. But so what I want to encourage you to do when you sit down and write is don't edit yourself. Don't try and, you know, go, oh, should, should I say this? Shouldn't I say this? Should I say this? Shouldn't I say this? Just talk. If you're around a lot of people, talk in your head. Uh, if you're not, then talk out loud. Uh, no one will think you're crazy. So, but the whole thing you hear is talk right. Talk right. Talk right. So again, let's say if you're in a painting business, you just start talking. You know, and it doesn't matter what comes out because the beautiful thing about writing, which you can't do with talking, is you can always edit it later. So you just start talking. And even if it's, you know, stuff which isn't that great, it doesn't matter. You can say things like, you know, I can paint your walls really good. And, you know, there's a reason I can do that is because I've got 37 years experience and the paint I use is really special and it's non-toxic and it's this and that. Don't worry if it comes out and it doesn't sound good or it doesn't look like a, a proper sales letter. That's not important. What's important is that you're right, you're, is that you're getting it down on paper. And the other thing you want to look at is set yourself some sort of a word goal. So you say, well, this is how many words I'm going to get out you know, in an hour. And then you just punch those, you know, you just work towards that goal and you punch those words out and you get them, you know, you get them out there and you get them happening. Because if you can do that, you know, you've got the word down on paper, you know, you've talked it, you've wrote it, and you know, then you know, the editing part becomes easier and easier. And if you can get into this sort of habit, you know, your writing is going to flow much easier and you're going to be able to punch out you know, sales letters and sales copy um, faster than, than you ever imagined. Um, anyway, that's it for now for my morning pyjama memo and uh, I will chat with you again soon.